In uh, John 17, verse 5, we read, And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. So this is a difficult verse. How could Christ have had glory with God before the world was? Now, some Old Testament background which helps to explain this verse and other parts of the prayer in John 17 is that part of the Old Testament which concerns Joseph. So in this video, we'll consider the links between Joseph and the prayer of Christ in John 17. As we will see, there are over a dozen such connections. So let's have a look at the first set of links. In uh, Genesis 37 verse 4, we uh, read, And when his brethren saw that their father loved him, more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. So, just as Jacob loved Joseph, so God loved his son, as Christ mentions twice in the prayer, as we see in verses 23 and 24. In Genesis 44 and verses 33 and 34, we read that Judah said to Joseph, Now therefore I pray thee, let thy servant abide instead of a lad, a bondman to my lord, and let the lad go up with his brethren. For how shall I go up to my father, and the lad be not with me, lest peradventure I see the evil that shall come on my father? Now the concern which Judah expressed for his father in not wishing to see evil come upon him was also shown by Christ towards his disciples when he prayed that God should keep them from the evil. In verse 3 of John 17, Christ prayed, And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. So likewise, Joseph desired to be made known to his brethren, and he too was sent by God. The power which Joseph had over all Egypt is shown in Genesis 45 and verse 9. God hath made me Lord of all Egypt, um, he said. And this pointed forward to the power which Christ uh, would have as the one who will be given the name above every name, and who now sits at the right hand of God, exalted above the angels, and will be king when he returns. The desire which Joseph had to be near his brethren reflects the desire of Christ, that his disciples might, as he said, be with me where I am, as we see in the second link there. We then come to a key link uh, which helps to explain that difficult verse which we looked at to begin, begin, to begin with, how Christ had glory with God before the world was. In Genesis 45 verse 13, Joseph says to his brethren, And ye shall tell my father of all my glory in Egypt, and of all that ye have seen. Now God, in his foreknowledge, knew of the glory which Christ would have. So the, and this was foreshadowed in Joseph, who, before the foundation of the Mosaic world and the Old Covenant came into being, had glory which his brethren uh, could see. Now likewise, the brethren of Christ will behold his glory when he returns. On the screen, you can see that Genesis 45 verse 13 has been paired with uh, John 17 and verse 24 rather than the, uh, the verse 5 which we mentioned at the beginning. This is because of the matching phrase, My glory. However, obviously the exposition which arises out of this quotation from Genesis helps to explain the earlier verse in John uh, as we have seen. In Genesis 45 verse 26, we see Jacob's refusal to believe that Joseph was alive, although of course he soon would believe. In his prayer, Christ spoke of those who would um, believe on him. And finally, on the screen, the last link uh, shows that the uh, occasion when Jacob said of Joseph's two sons uh, that they were, in a sense, his. And Christ also said of his disciple, all mine are thine. So here's the, the final uh, set of connections that we see between uh, Joseph and uh, John 17. In the first link on the screen, we see that Joseph acknowledged that his sons had been given to him by God, and likewise, disciples of Christ had been given to him by God. 
Uh, the next connection shows the parallel between the brethren hating Joseph and the world hating the disciples of Christ. In Genesis 50 verse 20 we see that Joseph saved many people and likewise Christ will give eternal life to as ma uh, many as God gives him. Finally, um, in Psalm 105 verse 19, this shows that Joseph had to wait for the time when he would be released, and Christ also had to wait for a particular hour, but in this case, in John 17, the hour refers to the time when he would be delivered to be crucified. So we see that Joseph provides an important, although of course not the only, background to the prayer of Christ in John 17. The glory that Joseph had in Egypt foreshadowed the glory that, would, that um, Christ will have when he returns to the earth.